Welcome back to The Factor on Sense, and we continue our long-running coverage of the cancer cluster in Fifth Ward and Cashmere Gardens. Houston Public Media reports building permits for new homes have been issued in the affected areas until January. This comes in the midst of the Houston Land Bank receiving $2 million to help with the ongoing relocation plan for residents. Joining us now to talk about it, Willie Davis of the Houston City Council and environmental and activist Kathy Bluford Daniels. So, Kathy, as we always say, you and I started covering this years ago. For those who are not familiar with what's going on, in simplest terms, tell us why these people want to move out of Kashmir Gardens, parts of Fifth Ward now. And thank you again for having me. And yes, we have covered it for many years. As a matter of fact, you were the first reporter to report it in 2016. So thank you for that. Happy Black History Month. Uh, let me say that, because got to get that out. We know we, can have, we don't have a 28, well, 29 days this year, so <laughs> I had to get that out. But the relocation, the mayor allotted less Mayor Turner allotted uh, $5 million last year for people who wanted to leave the creosote contaminated area, particularly they're calling it the cancer cluster. Mm -hmm. and, and what is creosote for those who don't know? Creosote is a mixture that Union at, at that time Southern Pacific used to dip their logs in telephone poles and uh, it, it's, it, it's a, a, an agent that r keeps those logs and telephone poles and and train rails from deteriorating. So it was a mixture of so many different um, um, poisonous chemicals. chemicals that they used that and dipped that to, to, to keep them from deteriorating. And with that, they, they had a big plant on Liberty Road. And then they stored all that equipment after they dipped it in the hot chemical, they stored it on Kashmir and Liberty. And you're referring to Union Pacific, the railroad company. Correct. Union Got Pacific it. now. It was Southern Pacific then, then right. and Union Pacific bought Southern Pacific. And just like anything else, if we buy an old house or an old car, we inherit Inherited. whatever comes yeah. along with it. And so that's what happened with, with UP having to carry the bunch of this. And they said that, you know, they weren't responsible for it. No, you weren't. But you bought Southern Pacific, so that comes with it. And with that, when I went to city council the other day to talk about the movement or the opportunity for the people to be re relocated, years ago in 2017, I started working with Senator Miles and he started bringing it to everybody's attention. We started talking about it in 2014, and then uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee had a big meeting at Wheatley where she had all the residents come in and talk about actually calling for a cancer cluster review. And it was found that there was cancer-related illnesses, particularly high usage of leukemia in and children. And she, she helped bring the feds in. That's but correct. But now we have learned that since then, many people have fallen ill. Yes. They've, they've uh, contracted cancer. They have cancer now. Yeah, that's and correct. let's bring it to you, Willie Davis, now mm -hmm. city councilman. Uh, the city is coming in with two million dollars. Mm. What will that two million dollars do? How soon will that make a move when it comes to getting people out of that community? Well, the two million dollars has been designated to be run through the land bank, mm -hmm. the Houston Land Bank. And what that's going to do, that's going to assist people, those that want to move, and that will give them the opportunity to work through the land bank, and the land bank will officiate that process. Now, will the land bank, for those who are wondering, buy their land, sell their land, what? How will they help, how will they facilitate the move? Well, the land bank will not buy the land at this point, in this juncture, because the, the mayor has designated that just to deal with the relocation of it. Mm -hmm. The rest of it will be dealt with later because the mayor made a decision on the basis that there's still a lot of cleanup that has to be done. There's still testing that's going on by UP as well as, you know, being, you know, monitored by the EPA. So the mayor decided to say, listen, there are those who wanted to move. Kathy knows that the numbers that want to move, but the majority of people want to stay. They want to stay. So that's going to have to be dealt with. And, and the truth of the matter is, and I, and I was not on council at the time. Right. But, you know, as I've said to my sister and others, let me tell you, if it had been me back at that time, I would have pushed to the fact that, listen, that should have been a major lawsuit. Should have started from the top. And then, because now it's, for me, it's like putting the cart in front of the horse. And, and right now, that, that is just not a good look. But, but I think the approach is going to be, let's clean it up. The mayor said, let's clean it up. We'll deal with the people that want to move. 
Let's allocate the money. He did do that. And looking for a plan to see what that's going to look All like. All right. Out of time, Kathy, but we'll bring you guys <laughs> back and talk about this because we have to continue we have to come. To continue. Very Absolutely. important yes. issue in the community.